A student's first introduction to quantitative analysis is usually an acid-base titration. While the analysis itself is rather straightforward, the techniques are a, are a little unique to this method. But once learned, they're seldom forgotten. Once a burette has been properly filled with the titrant, determine the initial volume. Place the index card marked with the solid line behind and underneath the level of the liquids. This will highlight the meniscus, making it easier to read. Record the initial volume of the titrant. Estimate the amount of titrant needed and then add several drops of indicator solution to the sample. Use a burette to deliver a stream of titrant within a couple of milliliters of your expected endpoint. You will see the indicator change color when the titrant hits the solution in the flask, but the color change disappears upon stirring. For best results, you may use a magnetic stirrer, but it's not necessary. If a magnetic stirrer is not available, you will need to use a swirling technique. Approach the endpoint more slowly and watch the color of your flask carefully. Use a wash bottle to rinse the sides of the flask and the tip of the burette to make sure all titrant is mixed in the flask. As you approach the endpoint, you may need to add a partial drop of titrant. You can do this by partially opening the stopcock and rinsing the partial drop into the flask with a wash bottle. When you have reached the endpoint, read the final volume in the burette and record it in your notebook. While not difficult, learning the proper technique will give the student the confidence he needs to focus on the analysis and not the mechanics of the titration.